everybody knows what a great idea an Amber Alert is. It's where you look for a missing kid. But in California, they're going to have missing kids alerts, but only for black kids. You know, there's a new bill in California, Will, and this is so weird. My home state has gone so racist. Everybody knows what an Amber Alert is, and it's named after this girl, Amber. And and the idea is if a kid disappears, the whole state, there's signs everywhere, electronic signs. They break in on the news. It's on yep. the radio. Your you, get a, you, you get it on your cell phone, yep. right? And yep. it says Amber Alert, missing kid. Sometimes it shows a picture. Sometimes it shows the car. The that license the plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they had on, you know. Yep. So there's a new bill that looks like it's going through in Sacramento, uh, the capital of California, and it's called an ebony alert. <laughs> and it's, it's not, I know you think it's funny. It's serious. It's only for black people. Oh, wow. And it excludes whites, Hispanic, Chinese, Japanese, Jewish, white, white people, Indian people, <laughs> whatever. You're only allowed to be on the ebony alert if you're black because, because according to the legislature, uh, the guy in the legislature, a black man um, who brought the bill, Amber Alerts, hold on to your hat, are inherently racist. I know. Don't ask any questions. So, so, so they're going to put the black people on their own alert, and they're going to call it an ebony, ebony alert. So, so when they get the report of a missing child, uh, can you tell me the color of your child before I proceed with this alert? <laughs> Instead no, of just stop, putting the stop. alert out. Yes, that's exactly what the law requires. This is crazy. So, what? I mean, if you, if I, what happened to being inclusive, Barry? <laughs> well, what when not ebony and ivory? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's stupid. That's just crazy. A, you're such a racist. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> so, in you. I, so wait a minute. If if they're gonna if they're gonna do the ebony, maybe they should do the ivory alert too. Then I'm well, just saying. I, I was looking at the uh, the comments this morning. One guy posted, "I think the Jews ought to have a pastrami alert." If there's a missing Jew, we'll call it a pastrami wow. alert. And then all the comments started. Well, if wow. it's a Chinese person, you know, it could be uh, a fortune cookie alert. And, you know, uh, and for you know, Hispanics, it could be a taco alert. And you know what's so really everybody interesting? Everybody should have their own alert. Yeah, it was interesting. Who's creating this racial division? Who's there's creating black, it? This black legislator in California because he says Amber Alerts are racist. And he's a registered what? Democrat. Because you don't, no conservatives are doing this. I'm no Republicans nose. are doing this. There's bigger issues. So they rather concentrate on the ebony alert instead of concentrating on all of the violence and the crime that's taking place and the kids getting kidnapped. And let me say this too about the, the Amber Alert. When I lived in California, I would get an Amber Alert you know, maybe once every month, maybe one a month, you know, or, you know, it's like one a month or some something around there, maybe one every two months. Well, since I moved to Texas, they notify people and it's almost it's almost guaranteed to get at least one Amber Alert a week here in the state of Texas. And I, and, I, and we were asked, I was asking some questions about it. How come they don't do it that much? Well, they in California, I remember they were the, the comment was, is that well in California, because they have so many kids missing all the time, they don't want to saturate the network. We're just constantly putting out Amber Alerts. I'm like, what? But here in Texas, they're constantly putting being being. We could be sitting here right now and want to go off. One just went off for me the other day. And I'm like, this is crazy. It's almost it's almost to the point to where 
they become a normal thing here because of the constant Amber Alerts, you know, because they're trying to get people to be aware of the kids getting kidnapped or taken. And most of the time is family members or someone, most of the time, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time you might, sometimes you might have a, you know, a Democrat out there trying to take a kid for their own, you know, special well, I, I can tell you right now, unless they go to pastrami <laughs> alert, I am not going to, I am not going to support it. So well, I, I mean, well, I want a chicken alert then. <laughs> How dare I, you? We should all have our own alerts. You know, um, I, I I need a safe space if I don't, if I can't have my own alert. And, and right. you know what? in fairness, you deserve your own alert too. You really do. Yep. Oh, hey, here's my here's my alert. Here's my alert. I've done more for Black Americans. 